Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt. This is D, and it's Wednesday, which means I'm going to be talking about my money moves for the week. So first of all, I want to talk about the book club that Brittany at Plan Your Own Life did. So on Sunday was the first half of the book, The 4-Hour Work Week. So we talked about it on her live, and then on Sunday the 27th is the second half of the book. So if you're interested in it, somebody during the live mentioned the fact that they found the full audiobook on YouTube. And so I was really excited because I had requested the book through the library and then somebody placed a hold on it. And that means I had to return the book. So I was like, dang, nab it. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to be listening to the second half of the book through that audiobook. So the entire audiobook is a little over eight hours long. And so you would listen to the second half of it, the last four hours to contribute to the book talk and to, you know, chime in, talk about your favorite parts, all that stuff. So that's what I'll be doing. And I'm not sure how legal it is, the postings of those audiobooks. So that's why I'm not going to share the link, but basically do a YouTube search, type in the four hour work week, full audiobook, and you'll find lots of options to choose from if you're interested. I also requested the next book that will be her March book talk, so that's on its way from the library. I'll be sharing that with you next week. And then this is a book that I also requested from the library because I'm kind of like, oh no, what do I do now? <laughs> so basically the way I get through life is I stumble around, I figure things out, I see what works and doesn't work, and so basically I throw myself into it and then take it from there. That's what happened with this channel. And now I'm at the oh no point, like what do I do now? So up until now, I haven't received any coaching. I haven't taken any classes. I haven't done anything except basically try to figure things out on my own. So I'm to the point now where I'm like, I monetized. Oh no, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? So I'm hoping this book will help solve the answers. Basically up until now I've been super frugal, which is why I haven't done coaching or classes or anything like that because I was trying to not throw a bunch of money at my channel until it was time. And I think now it's getting to be time. So my first question, and I'm opening this up to those of you that are monetized or know about being monetized is now that I'm officially monetized, do I get a business license? Is it a sole proprietorship? Is it a limited liability company, an LLC? What should I do? So I'm hoping this book will help answer some of those things in terms of me avoiding getting arrested and ending up in an orange jumpsuit for not turning it into a business and the whole tax situation and all of that. But if you have any advice, let me know because that's really my main question is, okay, now that I'm monetized, am I officially a business? Do I need a license? All that kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to reading this because literally this is a perfect book. YouTube channels for dummies. I'm a really big dummy. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm hoping <laughs> that this book will help me figure things out. And basically that's how I am. If any, anytime anybody asks me for advice, especially about money, I'm going to play dumb and it's not hard because I, I am dumb. I don't know. I made a mess and I got myself out of it. So I don't feel comfortable giving people advice like, okay, this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to figure out your way out because you know, I don't feel qualified for that. I just kind of made a mess and then cleaned up my mess and here I am. So looking forward to this book to see what that's about. My other question is that I received birthday money from my family. So my parents, my brothers, one of my nieces. So my question is, what should I do with that money? Should I adult and use it to pay, for example, like to form an LLC or for my P.O. box fee that's coming up. You know, should I do something responsible with that money in terms of my YouTube channel? Or should I just be like yellow and buy something fun with that money? So give me some ideas because I'm kind of hanging on to that money trying to figure out what to do with it. The next part then for this video is you watching me invest in all the places that I made purchases at over the last seven days that are publicly traded companies and that pay a dividend. So for example, if I shopped at Dollar Tree, I wouldn't invest in them because they do not pay a dividend. And so my cash app account is strictly for dividend stocks. Also, I made a bunch of trips to the post office, but I can't buy stocks in, I can't buy shares of the post office because they're not publicly traded. However, I've been thinking about investing in USPS or FedEx because they are publicly traded. So 
you know, what do you think about that? Does anybody own shares in them? And what are your thoughts? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the vesting. First of all, I really want to say a huge thank you to Patrice Chambers. And so here is her channel name. She invested $10 into my Cash App account as a birthday gift. So thank you so very much, Patrice. Remember, anytime any money makes its way into my Cash App, it'll go towards investing. So I'm going to be investing that into Apple. All $10 because now I'm trying to build up to a full share of Apple. So I'm also thinking, should my birthday money go to that, to helping me get to a full share of Apple stock? So again, let me know your thoughts. This video basically is more questions than anything else as I try to figure out what should my money moves be for this week. All right, so let's get into Cash App and do some investing. So the very first company I'm investing in is Starbucks because for Valentine's Day, I bought myself my beloved vanilla chai latte because I love them and they love me. So they were my Valentine. <laughs> so that's why I invested $1 in them. The next company that I went to over the last seven days was Safeway. So I made a purchase from them two separate times over the course of the week, which is why I'll be investing $2 in Albertsons because they own Safeway. I did go fill my gas tank, which means that the next company I'll be investing in is Valero. So I filled my tank. It was painful, $43 to fill that sucker. So because I made a purchase from them, I'm gonna do $1 worth of fractional shares from that company. And then brace yourself because the next company I'm looking for is Amazon. So in seven days, I purchased from Amazon three different times. Now, before you go be judgy, most of those were gifts. Actually, almost all of it was gifts. And then I bought some stuff for my pets. So that's why $3 goes to them. The next company I went to wasn't with my own money. So I'm gonna be buying $1 worth of the company that owns Burger King. Now I paid for that transaction with a gift card. So technically, even though I didn't spend my own money, I'm still gonna stick to my rule and invest $1 in them every time I go through the drive-through basically. So there's my dollars worth of Burger King right there. And last, and the one I'm most excited about is Apple. I'm going to be spending $10 there. So buying $10 worth of fractional shares. And so that was my birthday gift from Patrice. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Patrice. I'm getting closer and closer to owning a full share of Apple. So that was it for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing another happy mail video because I did get more happy mail coming in. I had an order as well as some belated birthday and Valentine's Day cards. So I'll be showing those. And then Friday, I'll be doing my freebie Friday video as well as frugal Friday. I'll be talking about how I am frugal when it comes to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.